Um, I think we're taking the right steps forward. Um, you know, obviously it was it was uh, it's been an issue for this team with the second group as of lately, and um, you know that was kind of explained to me coming in. So uh, you know, I just tried to you know I took respons responsibility upon myself, you know, just try to bring a new energy, um, a new effort, whatever whatever you want to call it, but just basically good energy to the second group and uh, just try to right our wrongs. Probably about a month ago. For him. <laughs> yeah, for him. Yeah, I got some film from Milwaukee. I, I got a few dunks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need all my credit. I need all my. Bryn was very complimentary of Doug's skills the night. He better be. On the setting of those screens and, and making sure to free up those guys, how important is that great unselfish team basketball? Uh, that's something I've really been like pushing with the second group. Like um, we're trying to make every everything easier for the guards. Uh, for some reason, this new generation of basketball has you know kind of gone away from setting good screens, getting guys open. It's it's obviously a more you know guard push league, and with guards they're setting screens and, and slipping out a lot of the times just to put uh, you know unbalanced towards the defense. But uh, you know, Brand's a, a great shooter. We got. We got guys that can make shots in that second unit, so uh, just trying to make their job a little bit more easier. And um, when their job becomes easy, it makes our job easy. Uh, we set good screens. The guys are going to react, and you know, either we're getting a good, a good long ball, or you know, we may get some dump offs or whatever the case may be. So uh, just trying to find a good flow to, the, to that second unit. You got a Danny Ovation in camp. I got a what? Danny Ovation in camp. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I guess they appreciate the effort. That's that's dope. Especially with someone like Danny that's been making an issue in the organization for a long time there. Yeah. What does it also sort of you see the way the next guy's gonna come in? Are they gonna make sure he's sort of seen here and keep you all the way through the next season? Um that's a good question. Um it, it has been difficult. Um just with everything that happened in Milwaukee, it was I, I can't lie, that, that was a, a gut punch for me to be released from those guys. So uh, I never really had a chance to, you know, get over it, if you can say that. But, um, you know, I, I quickly moved into the next situation. And, um, you know, I had a lot on my mind, a lot of emotions going through. But, um, you know, when I step between the lines, I try to focus on that and, um, you know, give my best effort, put my best foot forward. And um, I just feel like everything else will take care of itself. Uh, well, one, the IQ. Um, two, he's a veteran guy. He knows how to play the game. And um, uh, one thing about Jay, two Alabama boys, we actually grew up together. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, the communication, just understanding the spots, understanding uh, every guy's strengths and weaknesses. And um, like I said, just the IQ. When you got guys that know how to play the game and and all and and are about making a simple play, it just makes the game that much easier. So. Uh, you know, credit to J. Mike for that. Absolutely. Um, like I said, I just tried to come in and be a good energy for these guys and um, just be a spark, bring some new life to it. And um, you know, they've been receptive to it. They've been receptive to me, and um, you know, I'm grateful for that. So uh, they welcome me with open arms. They respect my voice. Uh, they understand that. If I am trying to hold guys accountable, it's coming from a good place. Um, at the end of the day, it's about winning games, and um, you know everything's been moving smooth. So. Mike, speaking of good energy, uh, the phone is filled with some vocal on the phone that said he couldn't hear, he could not hear you on the phone from that drive. About, I don't know if that's normal. Right? About what? I mean, he didn't say what. He just said you have a big personality, <laughs> and, and that's it. Can you shed a little light on what he might mean? Man, don't that? worry about all that. <laughs> 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 nah, what stays on what happens on the plane stays on the plane. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's a locker room talk. <laughs> Marcus, everyone that we've asked about you and just like what you do, it, it feels like every single player is expecting it. So it feels like Jokic and Bryn just talked about this too, but everybody's been like, "That's a great person." Mm -hmm. As much as they've been like, "Well, he brings the basketball court is great. That means that he brings his traits," and even Jokic was like, "He shoots his spots." Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, like, what that means. 
Y'all really want to get into that right now? Man, this league, man, I said it before, it's about narratives. Narrative sell. They may be right, they may be wrong, but narrative sell. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Honestly, every locker room I go to, I, I get the same type of reaction. It's just up top. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I, I come in, I put my best foot forward every day, and I try to control what I can control, and everything else will take care of itself. Hopefully one day somebody will be appreciative of what I bring to a team. On that note, I want to go back to the question about how disappointed you were with the Wizards that it's two games this year. Do you think that that's not necessarily a disrespectful to the game, but – what are they missing out on by not having three? Well, it is kind of disrespectful to the game because with that being said, they're slowly, slowly, slowly trying to push the big out. Like when I came in the league, it was four bigs on the team. Now you may have two. And that second one may be a, a power forward. You know what I mean? So, um, and like I said, when you got guards setting the screen, they're not as physical as a big. So they may brush screen and slip out. That's That's what they bring. But it's just a lost art. Same as feeding the post or whatever the case may be. It's just a lost art. Every, I mean, everything in life evolves. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But shit evolves. I mean, things evolve. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just told him, man, I'm like, man, you keep stressing, you're going to look like me up top. So, <laughs> so you, you take that info and do what you want with it. <laughs> that was basically my message. So, Austin is incredible, man. He's an incredible guy. He's an incredible guy. Just all around. I, I really like Austin a lot. He's an incredible guy. Yeah, I mean, because he's also a guy that's had a narrative in his league. And the, I can admit. Me playing against Austin, I hated him. Like, <laughs> I hated his guts. But, you know, getting the chance. To, and like I said before, I, I'm the type of person, I get to know people, and I make my own opinion of them, no matter who it is. And uh, like I said, Austin is an incredible person. I, I really like him.